Ready? All right, let me get rid of the blackberry. You let me know what's going on here because my hair is filthy dirty and did not have time to wash it. It looks nice. You got good lighting on it, so it looks shiny. Ah, this is probably the grease. <laughs> I am a professional matchmaker, believe it or not. And I work with men from all over the country. They hire me to find them a wife. Are you good at it? I'm beyond good at it. Nobody is better at it than I am. No kids. Never been married one child. And you want children? Absolutely. Okay. Any body piercings or tattoos? Well, for starters, I've been gifted with the gift of gab and a uncanny sixth sense that I just know who belongs with whom. I will go up to anyone, anywhere, anytime and get all of their information in less than two seconds and it would normally take somebody three months to find out what I do in three seconds. I have been gifted. It's not something you can learn. You can't learn to be a matchmaker. You either have it or you don't. Because my clients are men, men are visual, I'm just the messenger. They fall in love through their eyes, so the first thing I have to get from you is a headshot and a body shot, your bio and your profile. All commitment-minded guys that are not looking, obviously, for dates, and they're not looking for sex. They can do that on their own. They're looking for the perfect woman. And that means beauty, brains, body, balance. They want a pretty girl who takes care of herself, who's not high maintenance, who's not a drama queen, who's not needy. They want someone who's got a great body, which is not an easy task to find in Oklahoma, to say the very least. I mean, I've never seen more chubby chasers in my entire life that I've seen mall. here. I was at every mall right. possible. Right. I mean, whoa, yes. whoa. Sure. What do you do? Well, I do. I change jobs every year as quickly as I change my shoes. Why? I just do. Are your parents still married? 35 years in the summer. My grandparents were married 62 years. So why are you a vagabond? I can see through somebody and size them up almost instantaneously. I am an extremely good judge of character and I absolutely without a doubt can size people up in seconds. Oh, he's married. Mm -hmm. Oh my god is he good looking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm in their world. I ask to see pictures of any ex-girlfriends or any ex-wives. I am in their closets. I am in their refrigerators. I am in their dresser drawers. I'm in their underwear drawers. It's a big difference between briefs and boxers. What can you tell about a person by their underwear drawers? A very big difference between boxers, briefs, black underwear, white underwear, those whites. Oh, never liked them in high school. Maybe that's why I did it. Never liked them in college. The guy that wears those, <sighs> not sexy, not cool, not hot, not hip. I mean, just doesn't cut. I don't fit a square peg into a round hole. Just because I meet a woman that's awesome, I met today, I picked up a girl who's 35 years old, owns one of the businesses in town. She is adorable. She has a great sense of style, but she was too tiny. You know, he's six foot two. He cannot have somebody that's five foot two. It doesn't matter that she's awesome. It doesn't matter that on paper she sounds perfect for him. She doesn't fit into the profile of what he's looking for. So I don't match them. I don't match somebody because he's single, she's single, he's Christian, she's Christian, he has a pulse, she needs a date, they're both good people, let them go out and have a good time. That's not what I do. It is clearly proven 1,000 plus percent that I own the minds of men, and I do. I get what they want. I know what they're looking for. I just get men. How I got into this business is, if you read the books, by fixing up 14 of my guy friends and every single one of them got married in less than eight months. It's not about the money. It's a small price to pay to be happy for the rest of your life. What I do is priceless, and it is. I have a zillion babies that were brought into this world. I have people that are blissfully in love. There's, you can't put a price tag on that. You know, love is recession proof. There is no price.
I'm feeling good. I'm feeling hopeful. I'm feeling it's um, it's exciting that somebody is out there in a way marketing you, <laughs> and uh, and it's it's a good feeling.